to a well-designed business. My name is Luann Nigara, and I'm so glad you found this podcast. Together with my husband, Vince, and our partner, Bill, we have grown our company, Window Works, from the ground up. So I know and I understand the challenges you face in running your interior design business. I also know that your talent alone isn't enough to ensure your success. So on this podcast, we talk about strategies and practical steps to help you grow your business. But make no mistake about it, we have our share of fun here too, mixed in with those aha moments that I love so much. This isn't fluff. Nobody has time for that. Whether you are a new interior designer or a seasoned designer, I am here to help you create and to manage the kind of interior design firm that you dream of. It's straight talk and it's action. Are you ready? Let's get started. Hi, welcome to A Well-Designed Business. I am very excited for today's episode because I am talking with my longtime friend and colleague, Layden Lewis. For the past 27 years, Layden Lewis Design Studio has worked as a full-service design firm, creating experiences in private residential projects as well as multi-dwelling buildings for real estate developers, commercial spaces, and institutional projects. The studio has designed model apartments and public spaces for real estate and marketing agencies such as Rose Associates, Insignia, The Sunshine Group, The Marketing Directors, and Trump International Hotel and Towers. Layden is also a professor at Parsons, FIT, and New York School of Interior Design. His work has been featured in El Decor, Architectural Digest, and New York Magazine. The studio was recently inducted into Architectural Digest Top 100 Designers and has been included in El Decor's Top 125 Designers in the World. This is an impressive honor, and I can truly say it is well-deserved. In fact, today I'm going to take the show in a slightly different direction. It's not often that we talk about the actual design on the show. However, today we are going to dive into Lady work. Layden is a true visionary, an artist that brings his creativity and genius into every design. His work serves as an example for you young designers everywhere, a way to channel unique designs, bring higher value, and serve clients in a way that makes you unforgettable. Okay, before we hear from Layden, let's take a moment to thank My Doma Studio, Revel Woods, and the Interior Design Society. These are our sponsors for the High Point Power Talk Friday Tour, October 15th, 2021. I have an awesome lineup of speakers Rachel Moriarty, Eileen Hahn, Desi Creswell, the Vin Man, the Vin Vinjens, and myself will be there. If you want to be part of one killer day, that will transform the way you think about your business, then I encourage you to join me. Go to powertalkfriday.com to see all the details and to register. All right, I am so excited to share with you Layden Lewis. Hey, Layden, thanks so much for joining me on A Well-Designed Business. Hi, Luann, great to be here, thank you. I, you know, if you know me, you know that my voice is already like, why is she so darn happy? She just said hello. (laughs) (laughs) I am literally smiling ear to ear. Layden, you and I, we just figured it out. We go back to 1997. (laughs) That's that's correct. You know, with, with, with window treatments in East Quag. That's it. That's it. Out at the Hamptons. We were like moving on up there, weren't we? We were doing some work (laughs) absolutely all the way from jersey and all the way from brooklyn that's right and you know what's funny is that house i don't know if i ever told you this story but that house that you that was your project that you had to do out there right and it was so funny was what i remember was i pulled up to the house and i'm like knocking on the door and nobody's coming and i have to say i'm thinking this is kind of a small house for the hamptons but you know everybody deserves window treatments what whatever. Right. And I'm knocking on the door and nobody's coming. And I'm like, and this is before cell phones. It's not like I could just call you and say, Hey, Layden, are you here? I'm thinking I got to drive five miles back to town, make a phone call. What am I going to do? Well, the funny thing was, is it turned out that I was knocking at the caretaker's house to let people in, but he wasn't in. <laughs> and you had to go through the gate. Right. Down, 
driveway. Yeah, yes, yeah, it was yeah, like, yeah, come yeah, on, yeah. Dorothy, make it all the way down the yellow brick road. <laughs> like, come on, that's just that's the brilliant. gate to let you in. And exactly. I remember I went round in that drive, and I was like, oh, that's the house that we're going to. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, that was uh, that was my former that was my former boss's house. I was a senior designer at that that's time, right. and and it was it was actually my first experience with the um, in the Hamptons myself. Yeah. So yeah, it, was, yeah, yeah. It, it was pretty exciting. You know, that now, and you know what? Now you're recalling it to me, right? It was her home, and you were the senior designer on the project, and that was an amazing that's home. And you know, you know, that's a pretty, you know, that's a pretty interesting place to be in to be the project manager for an interior designer for their home. Like that's like a pretty steep thing, and you were a young guy. Yes, I was uh, at that point 27 years old at that at, in that moment in time, and. Um, you know, the thing when, um, you know, I won't, we won't, it's, uh, you know, for discretion, you, we'll just keep it private and every, every everyone can Google to figure it out themselves. <laughs> um, but, you know, it was, it was really kind of like breathtaking, the yes. entire experience of, of, of um, venturing out and start to see, to uh, see these, these most beautiful houses. I think it was a turn of the century house right on the bay. Mm. And, you know, it was, it was, it was inspiring. It was inspiring to see to be very direct, the wealth yes. and the possibilities that wealth um, enables you to, to, to have, you know what yeah. I mean? And the kind of, the kind of the, either both the comforts, the design, the possibilities and the freedom. You know what? You're a hundred percent right with that Layden, because I have to tell you, you know, you're, you were 27. I was like, well, you're 27. So I would have been like 35 or 36 or 37. Right. So I'm, jeez, oh. I thought I was younger than that then. Jeez. <laughs> I shouldn't have been as odd, I think, at that point. <laughs> I was like 16 years doing this at that point. But I re what I was going to say is I remember thinking the same thing. Like, oh, you said it very elo eloquently. And I remember thinking, oh, this is how the other half lives. <laughs> like, this is right, something right, right, else. Exactly. You know, well, and, and it was a beautiful home. And I remember it was, it was you guys were going to gut renovate it. It was like you were really doing something to it, right? Absolutely. Well, it, it, it had um, that that particular, you know, the home. There were different areas of the home that had different degrees of okay. renovations. But you know, uh, yeah, we completely redid the kitchen at in that house, and and certainly the entire place was being ripped down to the core. Um, I remember there was mold remediation, there was mm. renovation, there was upkeep, there was maintenance. It was a whole bunch of things. It was a new marriage for the for my for my. Uh, for my, my my then boss and so she wanted to make it her home mm, with yeah. her new husband yeah yeah it was it was a great project to be part of and uh you did an excellent job of course on that project you know you. there are so many um there's I, I my brain is like a ping pong ball now because i'm like okay talk about that talk about this but <laughs> what i want to do is i want to go to two things is number one is two years after that you have the opportunity to do kips bay and here yes. you are 29 years old and you do kips bay and i remember when you called us to do the 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 room with you and you know, do the drapery yes. portion of the room for with you i remember thinking oh here we go again this is great this is cool thank you for this opportunity laden you know blah 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 and I can tell you that that was, um, of all the opportunities I've had to do Kips Bay, which have been through the years, uh, quite a few, thankfully, with the, our associations with the designers in the area, that one right. was the one that yielded literally hundreds of thousands of dollars for us. I don't know oh, if you ever knew God, that. Oh, my God, I'm so happy. I didn't yep. know that. Mm -hmm. I yep. didn't, I'm so happy to hear that so that it did yield oh, somebody. Yeah. Oh, yeah. of thousands of dollars. <laughs> I'm, no, I'm really happy to know that that's the entire point of, mm. of, of, of at that time calling in our vendors and the people yes. who to, for support. Oh, yeah. no. And you supported us. And you made the most beautiful um, <laughs> Roman shades that I had ever seen by with an Ulf Moritz fabric. Mm. And I, I, I was I was stunned by it. We were well, I was just, you're forgetting you know, the three walls of floor to ceiling drapes that you wanted, mister. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm trying to. No, th th and that's how we that's how we f we fooled everyone's eye by making them feel like it was a set of windows. Yes, yes. Behind, and on a wall that was completely solid in the middle of the sp in the middle of the building. Yes, at that I, time. yes, and it was interesting because you know it probably you know knowing the Vincennes is that the fact that that for window works was such a positive. Um, experience you know working with you was always a wonderful experience and I me and you we always had a great time and all of that but from a, a total business standpoint it was a total revenue home run and then then as each designer as we got to know through the years then they would come and say oh would you do our Kips Bay window treatments he still looked at me and said what is it with this free stuff but I always said but look what happened when we did it for Layden look what <laughs> <laughs> exactly exactly because you know, he didn't get the model a, you know he didn't understand right, a, how know, it works no no no. it's a you know and and i didn't you know it's it's taken me only 30 years to you know the the learning that we do um in 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 this business is is you know it's iterative you know we we, you know, we spend money, we feel the pinch, and then hopefully there's a payoff with with a new client. I certainly did get a couple. We certainly did get a couple clients from Kip Space, so it was a success. It was a. It was. You know, we netted out as much as we um, mm. had kind of invested. So you're you're absolutely right. Well, and just so that you there's clarity on how did it yield hundreds of thousands, right? Because I'm not exaggerating, but what it was was. So much, whether it's for you as the designer that does a show house or for any one of the trades that are fortunate enough to be invited to participate with you, it's about can you get the one client that will turn into another one and turn into another right. one. And for us, right. we I, I remember sitting at my desk. I've said this um, on the show one other time before this story. I remember once the show house opened, it was open maybe, you know, a couple days a week and I'm really not expecting anything from it. I did it because you were a person that you gave us your window treatment business and now you needed a favor and you were going to get a great opportunity and I was going to be there for you on that. And because I always say to di um, different vendors that say to me, oh, well, you know, these designers, they want me to like do the electrical, no charge. They want me to do the wallpaper and stuff. I'm like, dude, you got to do it. They feed you all year right. long. This is your your give back to them you know what i mean exactly right and it, and if you get work out of it great but if you don't it is your your chance to say thank you for bringing business to me so i didn't go into it thinking any with any expectation but i will never forget i'm sitting at my desk at window works the phone rings i happen to answer it and elizabeth drake was on the line and she said and she had a um, soft southern lilt to her voice and she said hello you know my name is Elizabeth Drake I just left the Kips Bay show house I loved the room that Layden Lewis did I understand that you did the draperies I wanted to know what it would be like could I talk to you about hiring you for one of my projects and That's fantastic. yes I mean that was a what a three-story home with draperies in every room right like you know she <laughs> your room stood out and caught her eye and because of that she found me and do you know that we went on she was the primary art architect and designer so she did architect and design for one of the major banks in western new jersey that we ended up doing like 10 or 12 branches for and oh my god yes and did the owner of the bank's home and his son's home and then you know all the things and the thing was because the bank was located in uh, west jersey it was first hope bank Great, great bank, great family. Um, you know, they had an old world sensibility to them. So every bank, Norman, who was the owner of the bank, he had this sensibility that when you came into his banks, you should feel like you came to visit a friend. So every right. bank was draped. This is okay. Let's go back. It's the 90s. Draped in <laughs> swags and jabos and drapes and tassel and fringe. It was like doing homes the way they wanted the quality of the draperies from the lobby to the president's office all the way to like we would put drapes around the teller's window. <laughs> like It was crazy. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, wow. 
Well, you know that, that that that's interesting because I think a bank and its finance as a financial institution, you know, it, I think it I think that has changed over the last you know thirty some odd years, right? That yes. We now think of it as transactions and being digital. Yeah. <clears throat> but the but time even when back you were, in the day, he yeah. was like, I wanted you. He he. I would be in the meetings and he'd say, you, and he was Southern. He'd say, you know, Luann, I want everybody to feel like they're coming into my <laughs> living room, and I'd be like, Norman, I am your girl. <laughs> like I got right. this. We're living rooms. We're Exactly. So, so yeah. So you know that was really an amazing opportunity for us, and it was all because of you. So thank you, to lead him. I do want to go back, and I want to pull apart your career from Kips Bay forward, right? Okay. However, I just have to say, OMG, dude, AD100, El Decor 125. Like, I feel like we were like these little baby kids, and who knew the great things that, you know, like were in store? I mean, of course, we could tell from the the inspiration of your talent, but whoa, that's some accomplishments there, Layden. Thank you so much. I feel really blessed and very grateful to be among some of the, you know, the, you know, the just incredible, incredible craftspeople, incredible talent. And, you know, this year, you know, I feel really great. I mean, as, as, a, as an African-American designer, they were, they, the inclusion was higher than it was the year before. Mm. So I have no arguments there. And, mm-hmm. uh, and, I'm, and, I'm, and, I, and I love being a part of the, the I love this industry when it, when, it, when it celebrates all talents. Right, right, exactly. Yes, exactly. Absolutely. Yep. So, so take me back. I mean, look, it's an hour show, so we're not yes. going to like go all the way, right? And every right. little thing, but highlights for me, like journey lessons, things, you know, coming out of Kips Bay and, um, you know, the highlights of your hindsight, you know, looking back on building this amazing career from this, you know, guy in Brooklyn, like it's just, I remember like trying to just <laughs> get it all going on, right? Yeah. So no, well, I think one of the, I think, I mean, so, so um, how can I put this? We were we had done the the um, black interior designers show house in um, for Harlem United the year before, and Harry Hinson came by our show um, by our room in that space. We had done a media room, so Kip Spade was actually officially our second show show house. Um, but Harry Hinson said, "We want you to do the show house," mm-hmm. and so we it was it was the you know it was such an amazing honor at that point because we were being asked. Yes. To participate. And so we were already in before, you know, so there was no um, application process, let's put it wow. that way, and no submission process. So we, 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 we felt very grateful. And of course, you know, at, at, um, at that at 28 years old, I was like, hell yeah, let's, yeah. let's, 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 let's <laughs> do it. Sign me up. I have so no idea what up. I'm in for, but I let's have, go. <laughs> I don't know how much things cost. Mm-hmm. I don't, I, I don't, I barely know how to use a calculator efficiently, <laughs> but let's, let's, let's spend some money and let's get some press, right? Well, it's actually, the way I think about press now, I think the highlight for me as a lesson, and I look back on this it, it, because I've been a part of several moments that had a lot of, um, uh, media exposure um once uh, also the the um the black architecture show at the the, the studio museum in harlem which was mm. curated by thelma golden i mean i had a there were several opportunities where i was put you know um w- w- celebrated mm. and what i would have to say is that what do we do i've learned finally it, it you know at the at the ripe old age of 51 that what do you do once you produce that asset you have to leverage it I think that is the biggest right. lesson, you know, and how do you take this small seedling of a thing and show it to everybody? And I think as creatives, I think I'd be being very direct with you. And I think as a creative, I was shy to 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 really show people what I had done and to really celebrate myself. And I think it comes with age, oh. right? Like I have. I do not apologize anymore. <laughs> like, of course, I'm supposed to be 8100. Get out of my way, you know. Um, and, <laughs> and of course, where's I'm that red elder- carpet anyway? Where is that red carpet? <laughs> you know what I mean. And of course, I'm an L decor, you know, a lister. Damn it, you know. But w- w- the the thing about it is that it, it is not coming from bravado or 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 um. Or, no, it's a recognition uh, of actual rec- the talent and the journey of what exactly, you've done. Exactly. Exactly. Yes. And so. I think it also, so sometimes I would, I would actually say that, you know, be, be aware that your own 
maturation, your own age, your own um, kind of um, marketing, financial literacy, all of that stuff has to tie in when, you, you know, if anything, I learned everything I know about my business from Miss, from a series of amazing exposure and failures, mm, right? And every mm -hmm. everyone says ev everyone's story is the same in that regard. We all make errors or 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 judge or misjudgments. So for me, it was it, it was just like how do I know? You know, the financial, the creative, and the leveraging is so critical. Mm -hmm. You know, to having to having a solid business in, in terms of on the promotional on the promotional and marketing side. Right. Well, I mean, you're a hundred percent right because, you know, to make the financial commitment, the time commitment, the emotional commitment to do anything, especially something as big and monstrous as a show house and not to have the plan coming out to make the most of it <laughs> is, you know, it, it, if you if you if you do that, then is that is the mistake of your youth. Right. That, that is a mistake right. of not knowing what you don't know. OK. Um, but, you know, for it to have someone like yourself say to look back and say, you you know, this is what you have to do. And 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 it's true. If someone taps you on the shoulder and says, hey, come do Kips Bay, even if you are young and maybe you don't be, you know, icky about it. But, oh, I got something going on here. There's something to tell people about. <laughs> they just don't tap anybody. To your point, most people are applying year after year. Please pick me this year, right? And 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 you know, and that's how the exactly. That's yes. I, I won't I won't comment on how uh, repetitive it can sometimes appear. Well, there's that yeah, too. There there's is that, that too. too. Absolutely, but for sure, um, <clears throat> you know, they, they you know, again, it's it, you know, any of the any show house the and the charities that are attached to a show house wants to make sure that they have credible and, and, and they have um, talent that executes at a high quality. Oh, yeah. That, they're not doing you a favor. It, they're, they're not doing yeah. exactly. Right. They're making a decision to say, OK, we know what to expect from this group and they're going to make us look good so we can raise money to to really, you know, to 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 do what we're supposed to do, which is to. To, 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 to be ch charitable. Right, you know? exactly. Fill the so, house with people so we can give the money to the people that we're doing this for. Exactly. Exactly. Yes. Exactly. So, right. so coming out of that and then next steps, I mean, you know, I, of course I can think of some of the highlights that I recall through the years, but where, where does, what happens in your trajectory then? Does Kips Bay, like, you know, it's <clears> that <throat> window works on the map with, you know, Elizabeth Drake architects, but, you know, did it. Oh, it, 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 it ended in a, in a breakup. <laughs> <laughs> it ended up in a breakup with myself, my, myself and my then partner, Catherine Kim, um, a very, a very dear friend and, a, and an exceptional um, designer. And um, because, again, we, we were young and we we might not we might have we might not have kind of fleshed. We, no, we might not have been able to flesh out what we really wanted to have as goals and visions for five, 10, 15 year plans. So we just wanted to be in business yesterday. So what mm. when we really when we really started to operate in business we discovered we wanted different things. Mm -hmm. And that's and that's like like any relationship a partnership is exactly like a marriage. Yes. Yes. Yeah, and of yeah. course I remember so, Kathy very well and I remember then all of a sudden she wasn't there and you always just said as simply that we wanted different things. And you know, I guess that's... you got us in the breakup. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no, and I did do a couple exactly. of little projects for Kathy after that as a matter of fact as well. You right. know what I mean? Yeah. But um I just I, I I, 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 I mean, look, you, we, you and I just stayed in contact. I guess that's really the, the right. simple truth that's of it. 100%. And, um, and I, th I would say after that, you know, well, so there's always been a balance. I've always been very interested in, in teaching. And I think I would, I didn't know that how much, um, the industry rely would 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 honor and reflect back on to me my academic work as well as my practice. So it, that's that's the one thing that I've always stayed. I taught I've taught for many years at Parsons, um, Parsons School of Design. It's my alma mater. I've, I've I feel a deep connection to the to that institution and 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 the the kind of work that the the interior design and architecture par departments uh, create there. And um, so I would say I, I kept myself afloat while teaching, mm. while I hustled mm -hmm. for, you know, for the for the for work, um, you know, in, in, you know, in the pipeline. And, you know, and, and I'm, I'm just, you know, I have to say, 
it's a, it's as critical the people we surround ourselves like our friends, our families, and our clients about how, those people as being really agents on our behalf because that's where my work pre the internet came from. It was all word of mouth and it was all referrals, right? right. So that is how you know. So making sure those relationships. Um, I, I started to learn how to to cultivate and maintain relationships as a business person. Mm -hmm. Well, right? and that I agree with you because you know what? Yes, you know, thirty years later, you know, contemporary designers now that are coming out and starting their businesses, yes, they have the opportunity, and many of them do create a lot of business through Instagram and social media. But you know, late in in you know five and a half years doing this podcast, any. Almost every to a one, a successful designer that's been on the show, and we start to talk about, think back, what really has created, it almost always comes down to relationships. There's some part of the conversation that the person will say, you know, it's the relationships that you make, and it's the way you care for them, and it's the way that you you sometimes give and sometimes you take, and then vice versa, right? Because it's the internet is going to be there, but we know a day when it wasn't, and all of it was based on this. And I just, when I would say to the younger designers is, don't negate that. Don't just assume. You know, we always say all the time, you know, when uh, Mark Zuckerberg decides that he doesn't want, fa you know, Instagram and Facebook to be there anymore, we're all done, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm done, sorry. Absolutely. I'm going to Bahamas. <laughs> right. well, and, and well, the other thing is like, it's like that old saying, right? You know, people don't remember how you, uh, what you did for them. They remember how you made, how, how you made them feel. Exactly. And I think, um, you know, that's, that's been a part of my practice for a long time. Mm -hmm. And so, um, yeah, I'm, 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 you know, I, I, I really appreciate the relationships and I say it all the time to, to my staff and my, and my team. And I said, you know, our clients make our work bigger. We're not here as egoists to, to superimpose our, our solely our vision onto them. They're not a blank slate. People come with, with all sorts of lives and families and, and culture. And I, I love that. And, and, um, we really appreciate when our clients give us feedback and push against some of our design, um, suggestions mm. because they make the work better. Yes. Yeah. Well, you know? you know, and it's funny because remember you and I did the panel together for luxury powerhouse smart conference. And that's right. We talk, we talked there about how, you know, design needs to be a creation. It can't be a, a repetition of something you see on Pinterest. And um, yes. I, I specifically called you for that panel, to be a panelist on that panel, because I observed throughout your entire career from when you were, you know, very, very young and, and you know, working <laughs> in that house and then in the Kipps Bay, that you always had this a elevated sensibility. I don't know how to describe it. It never was, oh, that's expected. It's beautiful, but it's expected. And I don't know that right. I've ever said those words when I've seen anybody's design because I think wow. what anybody creates is is a beautiful thing. But for you, it was always like, whoa, where how does his brain think of that? <laughs> like, <laughs> you're you know? almost making me bring you you're almost bringing me to tears and I think and I'm starting to be able to own that for myself. I'm I'm an, I'm 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 a I'm a outlier. There's no question. I, I, I try to push myself. I actually bring a lot of the kind of fierceness and the robust and the and the um the 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 pushing of the design envelope to my own work. Mm. Um of course I've done simple designs for clients who do not want to be pushed, you right, know, right, right, and right. you just execute and you'd make lovely things. No, no apologies for that work whatsoever, but wherever there's an opportunity to push the envelope, because it design for me is an, or an, is an absolutely organic concept. I think it should be evolving. I think it should reflect our, the times that we're in. I think it should if reflect the conditions, the people, the cultural shifts. And so for me, design is not state is not a is not about being static yeah no and you you have always and i i know what you're saying there have been projects when it's like this is you know pretty straightforward this is not an adventurous client or whatever it might be but it's still always beautiful and you still always had that little extra i don't know what there's just i've seen a lot of design late and it's a lot of you know projects that i've gone in and out of over all of these years and sure. um it, it it's I, I mean you know the the one um uh 
uh, par, par, in Park Slope, was it, in, in Brooklyn? Yes. You know, and yes. that kitchen. <laughs> and then the Dior <laughs> wall covering. And then you're like, Luann... This is the first time. Now it's now I'm going to tell you what. Now it's it's de rigueur. It's like we do it all the time. But I remember <laughs> the first time you're like, I want the drape to look like it's floating. And I remember looking at you going, <laughs> what? Like why, Layden? Well, why? What are you talking about, Layden? What do <laughs> yeah, you think you like, mean by floating? Come on, is dude. It, do, do you, do you I... want to share, or does is it levitating by floating? Right, like you. It... Yeah, and then you're like, well, I know you have to have a rod, but how can we make it look like there is no rod? And I'm like, well, let me get my I dream a genie blinker nose out. Like, come on, dude. <laughs> but oh, I... yeah. I'm always imagining. Well, the thing about it is, that, right? If and, and if I don't, if we don't imagine something. Right, right. I'll Outside of comfort zone, you'll be giving rods and rings for the rest of your life. Yes. You'll be bored to death. Well, right? I have to tell you, you know, 30 years later, we did a project in North Carolina, and there's Kim saying, you know, I really think we should do this. You haven't done your construction yet. Let's cut out the ceilings, and we can have, embed the rods into the ceiling, and it'll That's look like... It. I mean, now it's like, yeah, we got that, right? Like, now it's our idea. Okay. <laughs> right. I hope you're giving me some credit, Luann, Exactly. Right? Right. No, right. You know what that made me think of? Oh, God. Do you know that we use fire screening at that time? There yes. wasn't a lot of. We used fire screening yes. on, at 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 one one um one Central Park West together. Do you uh, remember yes. that? Yes, you're yes. bringing me back. You're like, oh my, yes. the things you have pushed us out of our box on are amazing. <laughs> yep, 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 yep. We said, and at that point, I don't know. It wasn't that there was like not. Cast, I, I don't know what these companies name, but there's a whole bunch of people that had these things much more produced and ready to go. But that was oh. we innovated. That. That's we right. That. And I um, every time I yeah. was on a job with you, I'd be like, all right, hold the phone. I got to get Billy here. <laughs> like, like, I'm like, you know, I would just look at you and say, yes, you know, because I didn't look at you then and say, that's crazy. I would say, you'd say, do you think you could, you know, recess the track into the ceiling and, you know, blah, blah, blah. And of course, the ceiling is sitting there flat. And I'm like, uh huh. <laughs> yeah, 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 and then yeah. I go back yeah, to where's Billy. The hammer? Where's right? the hammer? Yeah, exactly. you know. And then, oh my goodness, you're right. And I forgot about that fire screening. That was like raw fire screening material. And I'm like, That's okay, exactly. so instead of fabric, I'm doing drapes out of this. You're like, right? I'm like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, they, they, we had that view, but we didn't want the nakedness of the glass. No, and why use we shears? Want... That's so pedestrian. <laughs> why use shears? When you can use fire screening. Oh, my God. I, I love this. I love that this is being recorded. Here. I know. I, I know. Right? No, you, you don't have to go into a time capsule. Absolutely. <laughs> no, it was. I mean, and I have to say over and over and over. And so to to have you now in yes. AD 100 and El Decor Best of Best, you know, whatever they call these things. I mean, it's just, <laughs> it just, it is so it natural. It is just so, of course you are. You know, you've always been, like we talked about in that conversation in for the Chicago panel, it's always digging deep and actually accessing and pushing your own creativity as opposed to just saying, that's a pretty picture. I think I can find all that stuff and put it in a room. And you bring that to your students, right? I, I can just imagine you being the, the flame in the room just saying, guys, <laughs> think, think, right? Oh yeah, I mean, I I I say it a lot nastier than that, actually. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's just like, and you know, I actually put on a bit of a performance as though I'm like a tyrant for my students, and they know that I'm putting on an act. But it's just like, get that out of here, and like, you know, and I and I do these, I kind of posture, and and you know, we we all laugh about it, but I, you know, sometimes I go around there just like, you know, try to try to rip their work apart, and but it's just also <laughs> to keep them on their feet. Like, do not think that you're going to come and do an MFA and I'm going to sp spend 12 weeks with you, you know, for six hours a week. And we are not going to try to do something more right. than what you, what you, what you, what you know exists, yeah. what you don't know exists. That's what I'm really fascinated by. Right. I don't know something and I don't know what it is, but it is coming. And if we could kind of, try to predict through design. I love that. Mm. Like a tile, how do you use the tile in a different way? How do we, how do we, how do we mix 
two materials that are that that aren't conventional but but talk to each other. Mm. I just that's 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 my entire life. Yes. You know. And it's evidenced entire- in your work. It really is. And you must what do you do to stay ahead of things? Because when I like I no joke. I mean, it is common now. We're going to bury the the rod in the ceiling and the guy's going to cut <laughs> it out and all that. But and and right. do I know if you were the first person to ever do it? I can't say that. But you know, I did a lot of window treatments in my not. lifetime Definitely and not. you know, I didn't run into that every day of the week. But in that same project I also feel like you were like one of the first times I ever saw the, um, I don't know what they call it, when the shower doesn't have any, like you walk in the bathroom and the shower's there. What do they call that? Um, you mean like, in other words, the deck doesn't have a curb? Yeah, like it's a, you yeah. Walk, you, walk, you walk directly into the shower yes. from the floor. Yes, yes, yes. Like we love to do that. That's pretty normal <laughs> now. I mean, you know right. what I'm saying? And it's even high-end design now. But they were going back 25 years ago. And I'm like, yes. you know, and then, of course, we had to make a shower curtain so that it would work. But it didn't get soaked in it. And this and it. Right, and it right. and that, you know, and you're just always like, I'm sure you'll figure it out. I'm like, okay. <laughs> 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 well, I mean, how how do you you ask me how do I stay a yeah? How it's do you not, come it's not up with necessarily that new stuff? ahead. First of all, I think I'm a I think that I'm a closeted filmmaker. I know that for a fact. Mm. I'm a closeted filmmaker and definitely a performance artist. So for me, I'm I'm tapping into. You know why did I go to go, why did I go to Turkey um, and 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 look at those the the you know certain conditions that I witnessed in certain places whether it was in the um, oh I forget I'm it's, I'm I'm losing the the place where there's this floating water in the cistern that's oh. below ground oh cool I mean all of these all of these different conditions these bathhouses the hammam all of these things if 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 my travels don't yield you know a t-shirt when i come back right. they should be i should have taken in i should have absorbed like a sponge it's my responsibility to my craft to take some of that memory and and repurpose it in design for my for my clients mm. and my collaborators that's that's my that's i love that well so you me, know what that yeah. is can i tell you something <laughs> that is when so many designers say on their websites you know my de- design is informed by my travels that's when you really your design is informed by your travels when you are really <laughs> tasking yourself to pay close attention and you literally are saying to yourself it's my responsibility to re- yes. re- re- to put this on my brain neurons and bring this back to my design that's 100 percent. that's amazing they, they, but my, my, my clients have and ultimately have paid for the vacation the least i could do is <laughs> pay it forward right so you know so i'm looking i'm thinking of myself like how do i take a, a, a some sort of a, t- a, t- a tile or a mosaic detail that i've seen at the at the hagia sophia in istanbul and and interpret it mm. i don't know how because first of all the scale is not there on the projects but mm. you know like oh they put gold next to this and mm. what if the ceiling is matte gold but the but the surface is shine, you know, so it's just all yes. this kind of thinking about materiality mm-hmm. and, and, and not just specifying. I think, I think our industry, okay, I'm going to say it. I think lazy designers specify. Okay. I, I mean, that's I a, think that's a valid that, statement. I, I think I'm going to say it and I don't mean it as a judgment. I mean it as, um, that is what the industry kind of promotes sometimes when you're not paying attention versus the art and and the craft of our practice there's the industry and that's and there's the craft of our practice and the truth of it is is by having the courage to say it out loud and i'm right there with you on it to let you say it and to and i hear it (laughs) right because you know what it is Ultimately, that is the differentiator between, you know, a a consumer being able to, quote unquote, put a room together on the Internet or why they should hire a designer. Right. You got it. This is the thing. Uh, hallelujah you're 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 spe- you're preaching now of uh <laughs> of Luan. you're preaching okay i feel like i'm in church right now right yep 100 percent. no you're you're absolutely right and, and i think that i think and and we dumb we dumb down the industry when we specify and not design mm-hmm. and the truth right? of it is is right and so if any god forbid anybody in our audience felt stung by that right because if you felt stung by that maybe just think oh 
is there some truth in that in the way I approach my design? Because if there right. is, then you are going to be the designer that struggles in the age of all of this online shopping. But if you are right. like a Layden or you have the benefit of being one of his students, then, you know, you can't be shopped. <laughs> you can't shop this man's brain. It's too crazy. It's too amazing and creative. <laughs> no, I never, I've never, you know, I've never thought, I've, you know, that's a very good point that you're making. And you, 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 you've articulated it beautifully. It's just like, it's, I, the the worst thing I would be able I I want to be able to, uh, the, the worst thing I could imagine is that somebody sees an image of mine in Pinterest and is able to just reproduce it by just going to oh, you know your dot, work dot, could never you know no. uh, every, every, no every, 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 every everywhere to shop dot com you know no, what I mean? they I couldn't. couldn't I know it they I, couldn't I, I, would, I, would, I would I would hate that I would really that would really make me very very sad no you have way <laughs> too much. Um, custom creations custom designs and even if like to your point before when you take a, a typical material whether it be a tile or whatever you're always putting your own slant on it you always are you're always putting your own like hey how about that way so I'm... it's all it's I, I look at all of the material that's in our industry as raw material mm. Mm. that's a really critical point yes. that you've actually made me see through this mm -hmm. conversation like i don't walk into our big name suppliers and just because it's a gorgeous fabric from you know brunswick does not mean that it cannot be looked at as a raw uh, as a raw material right right exactly right? you yep. know and, yep. and that i can i can say this is actually meant for something else other than its original purpose mm, right Right? Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So, okay. So now, um, what about like, do you want to talk about uh, the black interior, the, the black artists and designers guild at all later and tell us yes. about your, in, would, in, your would, right? Oh yes. I would, I, I'd, I'd love to, I'm, I'm, I'm really, um, you know, I, I, you know, to speak very personally, I think two years ago, um, uh, when the what what well, almost three years ago now, um, Melanie Barnett, the header, mm -hmm. the, the 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 founder of the guild, you know, set out that announcement for the New York Design Center and calling out that. Oh, I remember that day. Remember that day? Oh, I do. And so, <laughs> she is something day. else, that lady. She's yeah, she 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 is a very powerful mm -hmm. woman and a and a great and I'm glad to call her a friend. Mm -hmm. And you know, over the last <clears throat> then and then, of course, she called me and said, "Layden, I've got a we we've got a you know." We've got a show in down in uh, High Point that needs designing and curating. Want to do it? And I was like, sure, why mm. not? You know, in that same kind of um, you know spirit of, of of raw material, I said, okay. So I, I love art, and it's been a major part of my life and collecting of art and uh, and and specifying and help and assisting clients. So of course I took the opportunity. So with the guild. The Guild is a community of, of black artists and designers who came together and we all started to talk to one another. And finally, I wasn't alone. And I have to tell you from the bottom of my heart, Luann, it resuscitated what was starting to feel like a broken heart. And I mm. talk about the broken heart that I was having because, you know, to speak very directly, you know, knowing all of the talents and everything that we just described about my 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 affinity for doing things in a in a in an outside of the box and and all this stuff, it wasn't yielding the business. Mm. Yeah. And I had actually taken it. I had taken a job, an academic job, um, and uh, because I just thought that this that's the way it was going to go. Because I was just really, you know, I'm going to go back to it and call it my my professional broken heart. Mm. And then. What happened with the guild is that it was through that community, and of course the talking and the and the and the kind of um, bonds that we 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 made and the projects that we started to uh, create to express our own world, mm -hmm. like our voice, our narrative, you know, mm -hmm. whatever that is. And it's not a monolithic one. I want to say that officially, there's not a black style. Right, <laughs> right. Belong, there's, there's no black styles involved here. There's no African American style. There's just, we, we're just individuals operating like everybody else. But it was just a great experience to have that community and the support. And it, and, you know, I feel very emotional um, just talking to you. Just, you know, just, it was, it was, it was life changing. Mm. I met people, and I cat. I came out of so the solitude, the the isolation of my own business practice, and so, I think and that's that so that important. really helped. Right, and that's so important. And do I dare say 
You can dare say anything to okay. me, Luann, Azara. Okay. okay, so do I dare say, is it, knowing what I've learned, you know what yes. I mean, in the last two years, you know, yes. and what was literally, whatever, right? Like, it's... I can see now how I, okay, here's what I want to say. Let's say two or three years ago, I probably could have stupidly been like, well, but don't you feel comfortable at ASID New York? Or don't you feel comfortable at, <laughs> at, at, at you know, this or that? Like, isn't that a community for you, right? And this is no diss on ASID New York. Don't write me a letter, please, okay? Right, you know, right. but it's just the truth is what it is, is that, is what you're saying is the support the, 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 the and the community the, is different. Doesn't ex oh yeah, I right. mean, I think that again. Please check my numbers. I'm sure there'll be people that'll come that'll call in or or write. <laughs> but I, we're less than four percent of the industry. Right. Like you know, they're less than four percent. Like you know, uh, licensed architects that are black and female mm -hmm. in in at, in the AIA. So this is is systemic that mm -hmm. somehow and and it's from both sides let me just be clear about that officially that you know as um as as a, as a culture as a, as a populace in in this country you know we're encouraged as uh, many of us i'm 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 blessed to have an artist father but many of us are said you know go down the doctor lawyer route mm -hmm. you know we're encouraged by our families because those are solid those are solid decisions that yield a, an abundant you know, financial future. Mm -hmm. So, you know, so being encouraging our, our, our children in, 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 in the, in the black community, let's say in America to, to be artists is a, is a, is a, is a tall order, right. you know, and it's a, and, it, and it's, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a risk. Right. Right. You know? Right. It's risk. It, it's, it's, it's a, it's a risky proposition, be, especially because we are, we want, you know, I think just like, um, like, like all parents, I'm not a parent myself, but you know, we want to make sure that our children, you know, benefit, you know, mm -hmm. and do better than we did. Or that's have what an I, easier you know, road, not a oh, road exactly. that's right. The uphill battle in the snow on, you know, <laughs> and all the things. Right. right? And yeah, so, and, and, and I, yeah. and, and I chose the uphill, I, I chose the uphill battle in the snow. Right. I, right. I have no problem. Um, admitting that, and sometimes I think to myself, I should have become a plumber. I'd be rich off my ass right now. <laughs> but, um, but you know, I, bored I, to I, death I, I, though. I have, bored to oh, death. Bored, bored to death. <laughs> or, you know, or you know, threading one more rod. I don't know. Um, but, but, but I know that I did uh, that. I'm satisfied with the work creatively that we do. And, um, but, but going back to the guild and 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 this and the and the community, it just um, I've met just the most amazing people. And actually, I think it's made my work better because it's made me a little bit more uh, actually more experimental than I already was mm. you know what maybe so, that comes it, from like you know you said you had a professional broken heart maybe it comes from the happiness in you again right like if you're yeah. you're th like there's a professional happiness because you're feeling supported you're feeling seen you're feeling cared for you're having shared experiences with other black creative artists like yourself and now all of a sudden when a, a happy person is there can be their most creative if you're not not happy it's very hard to tap into that best creative self right whoa my god i mean absolutely luann you hit it on the head I mean, there's i mean the creativity comes um we're not, i'm not creating conceptual art i am creating interiors that are supposed to in, in my in my charge is, is to enhance the, my occupant's life I, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm to, to better their life right so yeah when if i'm not satisfied and don't feel fed by the industry i'm certainly not the best candidate to be producing work in it you know right 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 so that i think that i think many black um latino what you know uh black and brown skin designers you know they they we're having our moment and, and of course at, at the at the painful um truth of of, of jane of george floyd's mm -hmm. uh murder in the black lives matter movement mm -hmm. um his execution, I'll say, mm -hmm. and um, you know the that that we had we had this moment in the last year, but there's also still a fear in my mind to think you know because you know the, the internet and, and social media is also is also based on trends, right? right? So you don't know when something is really sitting in culture. I think that it's actually sitting in culture, and it, and we're actually dealing with it because we kind of we we we're kind of like okay, 
enough. Like there's something truly wrong with the DNA here. Right. So I think that is something that is actually absorbed and it's not on the surface. I hope because, but there's, there's still a little bit of attention that where I think, Oh my God, is this, is this a fad? Right. Can you, you know? trust um, it? Can, can you I trust, trust that, can that, trust? that others of us have opened our eyes truly. Right. Yeah, and I think, and and according to what I've seen, the conversations I've had with uh, with people at whether it be Hearst, El Decor, Town and Country, um, you know, New York Magazine, Wendy Goodman, Stellene Velandes, um, uh, Assad Serket over at El Decor, it's and Charlie Kirk, and I, all I can help and pray is that it's that this is not a fad, and that the the idea of glo- what what I call is world design mm. not 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 eurocentric right um design but world design becomes a part of what we understand if we if we re- if we're using an internet that is global internet and global connectivity we should be designing world spaces places experiences that embrace a a world vision Right. Not a narrow view of Eurocentric design as being the the bar for design. Exactly. Yes. Exactly. And really, and you know, and why did you go to India? Why on earth would you have traveled that far and come back and and, and do the swags in the Jabos? Right. 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 (laughs) Right. You know, when when you when you literally saw different ways of 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 filtering light and dressing what what, a fenestration. So Mm -hmm. like, you know, like like. Yeah, that, that's what that's what I'll have to say about that. <laughs> no, I love it. And I just, um, you know, the Black Artist Designers Guild is, um, like you said, led by Mulaney and yourself and other colleagues is a, is a great resource for uh, the industry and, and bringing yes. this to light for all of us to to witness, to enjoy, to um, celebrate and to and just... To, and to benefit. Right. To, to benefit from. Exactly. Yeah. As, and and yeah. to be the benefit of having, you know, another you know like you said not I think it was uh, Jamel Williams when he was on the show I don't know if you know Jamel he also teaches but I think he might teach well you teach at all the darn schools in New York right (laughs) you're at FIT New York School of Interior Design and Parsons and off the top of my head I think he might be at FIT Um, got it but I think he also talked about how when he teaches his students that what you mentioned in there that, you know, the bar for beautiful design isn't necessarily European 17th century white people's design. <laughs> like it's like it's <laughs> got to be the whole world. Right. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it does. Have, you know, you know, you know, the, the, you know um, Exactly. You know, yeah. and, and, and but I think when you said when you the, the, to be the beneficiary of world design means that there's going to be such it's not just about diversity to say for diversity sake, because that's yeah. all these words mm-hmm. are a little boring. Mm-hmm. The fact is, is that we're talking about having differences in experience mm-hmm. and that that we don't go from one conventional output to another one. Right. Right, right, right. You know, yep. and that you end up, you end up feeling like, oh, wait a minute, what, what's going on here? I, I'm someplace else than what I'm familiar with, and that's, I, I, I love that. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I love to be, you know, go to, a, go, you know, invited to a space or, or visit a space that feels like I haven't been to this place or someone's invited me to have a new experience. Mm. So, and um, I look forward to that. It's, that's why I would travel to Asia or, 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 or go to another, uh, another. Uh, country that speaks another language so that I ha- I'm forced to navigate that mm-hmm, world, not mm-hmm. just to, you know, I, you know what it is? I, I'm, I'm actually, the word comfort come, you know, and it's a word that we use a lot, comfort and luxury in our industry. I think we get too comfortable. And mm. I certainly, you know, we get too comfortable and with the uh, status quo, whatever that is, whatever, quo. whatever, whatever, whatever that we're that talking is. about, whatever exactly. part of our life we're, we're talking about the status quo, <laughs> where the same darn restaurant we go to every single week or <laughs> so, I know I've got a chi- I've got a Chinese restaurant. I love I, got a, I, I go to them three <laughs> times a week, please. but 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 once in a while I throw in something different. Right. Yeah. So tell me, Layden, you know, having done Kips Bay at a young age young yeah. p- part of your career and now at the other end which not it's not the journey isn't over but at this point where you're at and having these accolades have you noticed either then or now is there any shift 
in this. Like you said, we're hoping it's not, you know, the hot topic, the hot trend, that it is an actual shift in the opportunities for the uh, designers of color to get the projects and to be invited into, you know, do you notice a difference in the clientele, like, you know, having opportunities that aren't the same opportunities is what I'm trying to, I guess, say. Well, you know, it's interesting. I think for the first time in my entire career, I have primarily um, uh, clients of color. Um, and, um, it's a, it's, it's, so it's a, it's a process of, um, also educating, um, an an entire uh, cohort of people, a population of people who, who, who didn't pay for design services, Mm. right? So that's the, on, on one end, it's great. And I'm so happy that, um, that, um, black black individuals and people of color are investing in design because that's very important um as as well as being hired to to produce design but um we you know we're we're definitely in our in in the infancy of of that the financial solvency and the financial um value evaluation of of design Mm. so that's what i'm that's what i'm noticing um, it's easy to do work for billionaires. It's very, very easy yeah. um, to do work for billionaires. You have a, you know, carte blanche. Right. But in 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 what what I'm finding now is is an education process on the cost of construction, the costs of materials. Um, because what my own observation has been is that there's been um, a kind of through the dumbing down of the of of tele of 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 our industry through um, reality television um, and major corporations supplying design services like you know um, national lumber yards having design centers inside of them all of that <laughs> stuff it just sounds like, crazy when you even just say it, it out it, loud right well well exactly <laughs> well true. the thing that we're we're competing mm-hmm. against um, you know. I don't know if I don't, I don't, you know, you could edit it out. We're competing against Home Depot. Yeah. Well, some people might, cause they're not engaging their brain. You're not competing against well, Home no, Depot. Well, no, no, what, what I'm saying is that for this new, so what I, what I, again, I have to be very careful about what I'm about to say because everyone has their own personal views. What, what I found is that the corporate, because there hasn't been a bespoke design investment and design evaluation in in um in our communities for a long time in mm-hmm. in ter- specifically in interior design less so in architecture but interior design there's going to be this there's this question of like how much should we be spending okay on 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 when i could get a tile from home depot for 299 a, a square foot mm-hmm. and i'm showing you a tile from you know artistic tile for $56 a square foot mm-hmm. Right. There's an, there's an this is these are educational moments. So what you're saying is it's you're seeing the um, the opportunity now and the challenge now of educating the culture, the the people of col- of color on this is luxury design and it's for you, too. But I need to make you and help you understand why it's valuable. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. Okay. I've had, I've, I, w- I wouldn't make that a blanket statement. Right. I'm right. 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 Out there, but, but that's the, what they're, you were they're, trying they're to express. Exactly. There are different. There's many different people who have many different resources. But it, it the relationship to value. So we 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 have to turn with the tide. Right. We we all have to. Con- so because we weren't reflected before, we were outsiders and we just peered in. Now we're, we're investing in design and we have other designers who can produce that work for them. Now the question is, is how much does it cost and how do we put a value on spending X, Y on on your property? You know, the you know, the the equity in your home. I mean, I'm having I'm having much more robust conversations, which is good for me. Um, because it's easier to not have a kind of a financial literacy um, connected to um, the investments in design. Mm-hmm. But now I, I, I understand that when we invest in design, we are taking care of ourselves spiritually, emotionally, mm-hmm. while we stay in a piece of real estate that we own for the most part. I don't de- I generally don't design for renters. Mm-hmm. Um, and, uh, and, and how that value translates to either resale or if you stay long enough, it, it, it just, you, you, it pays for itself. Mm. So you know? interesting, such an interesting yeah. twist on the evolution of what's happened over the last several years. 
right? Yeah, is what you're saying. Yeah, you it's know, another layer absolutely. to the shift in all of the thinking, and it's the opportunity. So I, if I understand you correctly, as people of color see themselves reflected on the AD100 list and on the El Decor list, like yourself and our friend Corey yes. and all of the things, then they are like, hey, now there's somebody like me and I want to partake about, um, you know, in this, but then there is this education generation, generationally that needs to, that you're talking about is another conversation that needs to happen as far as the value of 100%, 100%. it. 100%. Interesting. 100%. That's why, so sometimes one has to be innovative with materials that don't, you know, with, with any job that's a budget. Mm -hmm, uh, that, mm -hmm. I'm not talking about black people or, or white people or Jewish people or Italian people. I'm not saying that, but, but there is an education of those, of people, of, of understanding, you know, so for example, no one questions a Louis Vuitton bag, right? right. Because it has such a high value in the world at large. I know why that costs $20,000 for that purse or, mm -hmm. or, or $8,000 for those, for that jacket. Right. But tiles you know right building materials, it's a new, it's a new opportunity right. to uh, to share the education the knowledge and the value that the design of, can bring and affect their homes their lives uh, you know all of the things all of it all of it yes. so it's it's you know it's it's a it's a curve for all of us mm. yes interesting interesting yes. interesting yes. so it's yes. funny i you know i share with you that i Wondered if it was going to be the other way. Oh, before I had mostly, which I know that you've had a, a mix of clients all through the years. But, you know, sure. the, in other words, I could see, I, I guess it, this is the whole point of of having a conversation that I know that the person on the other end is someone that I can trust and I can ask the question because if I don't ask the question, I might just make assumptions. And so instead right. of assuming the obvious, which could be assumed as the obvious, which is, hey, before I made AD100, I mostly had clients of color. And now that I made AD100, all of the other white clients realize my value. And instead, the answer oh, no. was completely no. different. Interesting. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, no, no. I think what I am experiencing, yes. which is very, very powerful for me, yes. is that I have one of my sweetest clients. Her name is uh, Jan McRae. She just tells me every time she says, I love you. Can I adopt you? <laughs> I just love you. I've wanted to work with you for years. And I just wondered to myself, you know, and she just said, I, I've loved, I saw that kitchen that you did, that same kitchen you You're, mentioned. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, she says, I saw that five years ago and I want that kitchen. Mm. And then when I tell her how much it's going to yes. cost, she has to go, oh, oh, I want some version of that. Kitchen. Right, right, right. That's when you say you, that you're you know? competing with Home Depot. That's what you're talking about right, there. Right. It's, what, what, and, oh. and, and I'm saying, I'm, no, I'm not sorry. I'm, I, no, this woman is not very her. sophisticated. No, 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 no. Not, but no, and it's, 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 it's just a mentality. It's the reference points that we use yes, every day. I hear you. That's all. Yep. You know, that's, that's what I'm basically saying. No, I, yeah. I, I, I do think I understand. I might be tripping it up and, and ruining it, but I think I personally understand what you're saying. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's like a, it was for, for me, a slice of pizza is, is, is $2.25, right. Right? right? So when I go into a restaurant and someone's selling a, pi a, 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 a pizza for $30. Yeah. What, it's like, what's what, that? What, right. What? what? What's right. going on? And by the way, though, you right. you can be educated to be told, well, oh, my goodness, it's this and it's this ingredient it's that's imported from oil. that. And I've got, yeah, truffle <laughs> oil on it. And we've got anchovies on it that we grew in the backyard in the pond. I mean, I don't hey, know, right? Exactly. <laughs> we grew the basil right here on the shelf. It's farm to table. Like, that's your point. Exactly. It's like you can and, understand and, and, and if you can understand, you can, you can get it if you have someone who will educate you on the value of that pizza. And so now exactly. it's your opportunity and your mission to educate on the value of design is what it is. And what I and, and to the into the into that point, I'm either taking a slice and I'm shoving a piece of pizza for two twenty five mm. on, on 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 in Williamsburg, which I've I've done on occasion, or is that pizza that I'm consuming taking me back to some experience of a moment in Southern Italy? Mm. Is this like am I having a moment here? Am right. I being trend? Ordered for 20 minutes while I eat this pizza and I'm having a new experience. Right. If my taste buds are firing off. I don't recognize what's happening. I'm enjoying it and it's unfamiliar. Wow. So, and, and what, and what value does that have for me? 
so that's, that's a lot of it a lot of, yeah yeah it's that's amazing what, that's what... you know what just went through <laughs> my mind i have no what? desire to learn interior design but i would love to be in your class <laughs> <laughs> well that's i you know i'm, I'm trying to figure out so we're, we're i i'm thinking about a podcast myself a friend of mine oh, um ed letter he he wants to he wants to partner with me and we're thinking about having a podcast on creativity so stay tuned oh fun is, fun 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 oh that fun. would be like being in your class listening to your podcast exactly. oh my goodness that would be amazing yeah you know lady i have to say you're very inspiring um you talking to you i've always known it and talking to you again now today i now the rest of the world knows it um thoughtful that's what you are. You're thoughtful. You think. You create. You don't just execute. You just don't just slap th something out. And and you and I notice that you take it to everything that you do. Do you know what I'm saying? It's not just your design. It's the way you consider. It's the way you want to broaden my world, our world through the conversation. Um, you're a very, very amazing, wonderful human person, Layden. I've always I loved really you to death. I really appreciate you, Stephen. Thank you. So, yeah. And so are you. And we've all, and, and it's that synergy that, and that electricity that keeps us together. Yeah, definitely. Well, I could do this for like another hour, but I think we have to... <laughs> we have to wrap it up. Yeah. yeah. I mean, is there yeah. anything that we didn't discuss that you'd love to say or share I want to make sure that you have an opportunity whatever might be in your heart that you want to put out there because it's you know your the mic is yours um, I would I would I would like to say that whatever we endeavor to do um, I really take it to the highest moment I think of myself I can I think the artist in society is a is a really important person and I try to mm -hmm bring the artistry of what interiors um, can be to to the to my collaborators to my clients and to the people that work with and for me and um, I yeah I want to make my life better mm. through design mm. and so any and you know I just want to say that I, that's that's how serious I take it at, but I do it with a really uh, hopefully I do it with as light as a feather as I can um, when I'm not being a curmudgeon and um, <laughs> <laughs> or, or being a, or being a, you know, uh, old, I don't know. And um, yeah, and uh, that's it. That's all I have. To do. It's <laughs> it's all. awesome. It's yeah. awesome. And you always, you know, it's interesting that you say it. I mean, I don't, I don't know if you need to be told that, but you've always done it, as you say, light as a feather, with with pleasure and with fun. And I, I mean, I just, we've always, I, I, that's my experience in project after project. It's it's serious. It's intense. It's you know, you have to bring your A game when you work with Layden Lewis, but it's always a fun, respectful, joyful process. It's always been that my memory and my my experience with you so I think you're you're achieving your goals you're elevating all of us um, but not intimidating us along the way I have to say <laughs> I appreciate that I appreciate hearing you say that thank you you're welcome well thank you my friend I love you to death and I'm so glad that we finally did this we've been talking about it for five years <laughs> right exactly and we finally did it yeah so thank you for joining us lady and I, do, I really do appreciate it What an amazing career that Layden is experiencing. There's no such thing as has had, right? This is current. This is present tense. He's still building it. He's still doing it. All the way from Kips Bay back in 1999 to now AD100 and El Decor 125. I mean, oh my goodness. And for me, it's kind of interesting because how many times over the last five and a half years that I've read a designer's accomplishments in the intro or outro, but this time to actually know the designer, to actually have had the privilege to know Layden throughout his entire journey and to have watched him and have had often the opportunity to work with him as he has built this, this career and he has earned these accolades. Well, it is <laughs> very special, I have to say. And, um, you know, thinking about the conversation, we talked about the episode with Daryl Long, number 587, and how I invited Layden to be on that panel with Daryl. Um, and Kat Anderson for the Chicago Luxury Powerhouse Design, right? And we talked about on that episode how Daryl says, if you're not careful, your design can, come be, can become stagnant, that Pinterest and Instagram have changed the game. Yes, in some good ways, but in some not so good ways, right? And what Daryl said is that true artistry, true, true design comes from within, 
from art, from music, from creativity that doesn't simply replicate another image. And Layden is an awesome example of exactly what Daryl Long was talking about, about striving for true expression, unique design, innovation, and creativity. And this doesn't happen by accident. And while I do know that Layden has a natural creative gift and it shows up in his designs, I also know his craft comes from his hard work and that intention that he brings to everything he designs, right? He talked about it. He talked about traveling, about exposing himself to other cultures and ideas from around the globe and deliberately paying attention to how he, how he can interpret those design elements that he's experiencing and then incorporate them into his work. This is where real genius comes into play. This is what you're striving for, okay, to think about it in this way. If you can find a way to be innovative, to provide something that doesn't look like something else that's already out there, this is how you jump ahead of the trends and create new ideas. And this is how you bring the highest level of value to your clients. And then when that happens, then in turn, you take on the work that you want, you attract the clients that you want, and you charge the fees that you are worth because you bring to the table something that they cannot duplicate, they cannot get anywhere else, all right? Now, there are a couple lessons um, that Layden learned along the way that I want to highlight because they apply to you no matter where you are in your business journey. And the first thing that he discussed is that the failures you experience and the errors you make become the foundation of who you are. And this to me is the ultimate difference between someone who makes it in business and someone who doesn't. If you can be a person who analyzes and learns from your mistakes and apply the lessons learned to your future, then you will survive. You will thrive. Okay. But if you can't, if you cannot look at your mistakes and you cannot find your way through them, then things are going to be harder for you. That's just the simple truth of it. All right. The second lesson is one that we already know, but it always bears repeating. And Layden discussed it. Everything comes down to relationships. Layden talked about building his business pre-internet marketing, right? Where everything was word of mouth. And he was able to do this because of the relationships that he created and he built. And we say it all the time here. Relationships are the foundation of a solid, healthy business. Okay. So if you've listened to today's episode and you're feeling motivated and inspired to channel Layden's energy and bring innovation to your design, I urge you to go for it. Tap into your creative spirit. Okay. Travel, observe, look at the big picture and think beyond what you already know. There's always something else out there and there's always something out there waiting for you to put your personal interpretation on it. Okay. So thank you so much, Layden, for sharing your heart and your wisdom with me and all of us today. And thank you too for listening. Decide to be excellent. Thank you so much for joining me again today. This podcast is a production of Window Works, your resource for custom window treatments and awnings. To learn how we can help you on your next interior design project, go to www.windowworks-nj.com. And if you're interested in working with me on your business, either through masterminds or one-on-one -on -one coaching, or you want to know how to get my book, The Making of a Well-Designed Business, or you just want to know what's going on in the podcast land, and where I'm going to be. All of that is found at luannnigara.com. Thank you so much. Have an excellent day.